Good morning, everybody. Apparently, there is some dialogue that I missed on the Alliance side yesterday. As well as uh, the Horde side has some interesting bits and pieces to talk about. You have my attention. Gilneas will prevail. Right now, I don't give a damn about justice. I just want to find where she's taken our friends. King Greyming, what's the plan? We'll get them back, Talia. I swear to you, we'll save them all. The Ebon Blade has extracted the Lich, the High Lord, from the battle in Ice Crown. He is recovering in Acherus. I pray he can help us find answers. Without that cursed helm, the Scourge are running rampant. We'll need the help of the Argent Crusade to stem the tide of the undead. If anyone can figure out how this all fits together, it's Bolvar. Did you say Bolvar? Bolvar Fordragon? That's my father! Is he alive? Talia... I... will explain. But we can't afford to let our guard down. Not with so much at stake. So apologies for that, but microphone kinda dipped out. So Talia Fordragon... Character introduced in Battle for Azeroth, and at first we didn't even know that she was a four dragon, she was just Talia. That information was revealed later. And four dragon means that she is the daughter of Bolvar four dragon, the person who put on the helmet of domination at the end of Wrath the Lich King in order to keep the restless Scourge in check. Now Bolvar's helmet had been shattered and the Scourge are under the attack, but Talia did not know the fate of her father. Her fate of her father was known to other people. Uh, you might remember how at the end of Wrath of the Lich King, Bolvar was like, we must keep this a secret, Tyrion don't tell anyone else, and Tyrion was like, I pinky promise that I won't tell anyone else. But then, as soon as the novel Wolfheart, we knew that Varian knew, uh, Jaina knew, Sylvanas herself has gone to the top of Ice Crown, so she knew. In Legion, the Death Knight Order Hall party with Bolvar, so they all knew. The uh, Fellow Malorn artifact quest lines, so the mages, they all knew. Uh, a whole lot of people knew about the fate of Bolvar, including Enduin at some point, as he promised Talia that he would talk to my little star, I believe that Bolvar's nickname was for Talia. And they would talk about the fate of her father, but that never happens. So here we have a little quest line in which Shaw is like the Lich King. Oh wait, no, hang on a moment. Uh, the High Lord, Bolvar, way Bolvar's alive. Okay, that's cute. Kind of bummed that I missed out on that yesterday, but I'll uh, I'll do a little update on it, I suppose. Um, and for the alliance representing, we got High Inquisitor White Mane. All right, let's check out the Horde. All righty, hi everybody. Um, apparently there- The matter is of a sensitive nature. Further details will be provided when you arrive. Please do not delay. Apparently, um, there is some interesting details about Nefanos' death on the horse side to be found. And as we could just see, Valera is actually being a messenger. Interesting. Acting in haste may cost us dearly. It would serve us well to continue our investigation before taking action. Okay, Lorfmar. Oh! Speak your mind. Agra is still alive, confirmed, sits quietly in reflection. You are welcome here, Jack. Mela makes a return, even though her hair is a bit. You know what you got, boss. You. Rokan. The pleasure is mine. Valera is stealthing in the shadows. We all have our duty. Kalia. Broad and thunder! We got Nuscrim. Alright. I greet you on behalf of Silvermoon. It has been some time since I last stood here staring into the distance. How could this have happened? I'm afraid that I have difficult news to share with you. The Horde is under attack. What I'm about to share will be revealed to others in due time. Your discretion is of the utmost importance. Okay. The rebuilding continues. The Horde is under attack. The Undead Scourge is swarming in numbers not seen since the return of Arthas Menefil. Amidst the chaos, something terrible had happened. Allow me to explain. We are a nation on the rise. What has happened, Lorfmar? Aldi. Temporary cinematic. I imagine that this is where they're going to show uh, Fral being kidnapped. And Bane as well. Potentially also why uh, Agra is there. 
the eternal sun still guides us. As we continue our investigation, I ask that you focus your attention on another matter, the safety of our citizens and our allies. As such, I have reached out to those experienced in dealing with threats of this nature to guide us through these turbulent times. The scourge unbound hunger has been unleashed. It's only a matter of time before they're swarming our streets. We need expertise in dealing with this menace. The Death Knight of the Evan Blade has stepped forward to aid us, but even they can't do this alone. The Argent Crusade has returned to answer the call. I need you to work with them to keep our people safe. I've sent word of your arrival to their commander. What I do I do. I do for Quelfa. Though I despise her actions, I cannot deny that Sylvanas Windrunner is a master tactician. The scourge attacks and the abductions must be part of a larger strategy. The Alliance is every bit as wounded as the Horde. King Wren and Lady Proudmore were taken. They also came for Tyrande Whisperwind, but she neutralized her attackers. Oh hell yeah, go Tyrande. Really? I knew the Night Warrior's power had grown. But to dispatch an adversary that even Jaina Proudmore could not. It is fortunate that we have the Knights of the Ebonblade to aid us. General Nazgrim reports that Bolvar Fordragon is free of the Lich King's crown and is recovering in Acherus. What's more, the Argent Crusade has rallied to answer the call. They stand ready to drive back the scourge from our lands. Bolvar Fordragon was one of the bravest heroes Azeroth has ever known. If anyone can advise us how to defeat this menace and recover our friends, it is the High Lord. The legacy of the Lich King is forever entwined with that of my family. Regent Lord, though I serve only as an advisor to the Forsaken, I ask to stand with you as you face this threat. Your voice has offered wisdom to both the Forsaken and the Horde Council, Lady Menethil. Whatever comes, we will face it together. <clears throat> Interesting. So, Valera is still acting as messenger between the Alliance and the Hordes. Uh, Kalia is apparently a voice of wisdom amongst the Horde now. Wisdom to both the Forsaken and the Horde Council. Even though before the storm she was like, yeah, I was never trained how to lead. Okay, Interesting. And um, Toronto was able to fight off her attackers, and Northmar's like, "Oh my God, she is more powerful than even Jaina Proudmoore." Hmm, which is uh, quite a step difference from uh, that human witch. Strength and honor. Return to Crusade. You must be the one. Get a report from Officer Duratar and the Barons. Right. For the Horde. So this is similar to the Alliance side, it's just get the reports out and, uh, yeah, get it done. Get it done, Anaria, okay. Shola. Uh, get the reports. Words. Word from those traveling through the pass suggests a small skirt present near Razor Hill. I sent a scout to investigate, but they Fair have yet way. to return. Okay, can you stand still and give Bro. me a report? Oh. The skirt's already here. We've been under attack since we arrived. If we don't purge this outpost, we'll be overrun. Ah, they got the frostworms here as well, eh? All right. For the horde. And then over here, Wolf Look Rider. Uh, I dispatch out riders to Orgrimmar, and you're the only reinforcements that we get. Where's the rest of the pack? Riders. There haven't been any reports from the field commander. Trogs and me to get information. If they've stopped their riders, take this. Our allies must hear of these attacks. Go forth. Now we go to the crossroads. Hello, Lieutenant Altair. State your business. This never-ending threat is a lifelong dedication. The report is quite slim, presumably due to the lack of activity. Details of the scourge attacks on Razor Hill. And then Farwatch is all kinds of bloody. This information is accurate. This cannot be. The commander will be expecting a thorough report. Compiling these reports will take some time. Uh, if you can help keep the area clear, I'll finish twice the as fast. The reckoning is at hand. Business, have you? We may have a fighting chance. After all, take this report to the commander. He will know what to be do with it. Be ready for anything. I will reassure the Justicur that she has her full support. Okay, we have been infected already. I will pass this report to the region lord. Where does come from Ice Crown? The darkness stirs. A message from Ice Crown. Report to Justicur. Go forth to victory. And what is it? Confront the finals at the Maristets. Horde force been scouting to find him. Not hiding some distant land, just waiting at his home. Goodbye. Okay. Hello, Nafanos. Lucky enough again to be in the midst of people already fighting him. Oh lord, things are definitely hurting though. <laughs> yes! Such delicious hatred! Oh! Oh. 
Okay. I mean, he does die. And we got a 72 Death Guard's Helm, and as you can see, even my ungeared Paladin has an item level of 83. So I'm imagining that gearing up here is going to be more about uh, either Transmog, maybe? Or, uh, like, really new characters. Really, really, really new characters. We have made many sacrifices. A wry smile crosses the Lord face. A fitting end to the blight collar. I only wish I'd been there to see it. The light of the Sunwell be with you. In life, Nathanos Maris was a braggart and a bully. In death, his worst traits were only magnified. At long last, the blight caller has met the justice he deserved. I only regret I was not there to see it done. I cannot begrudge Tyrande Whisperwind for claiming the killing blow. I only hope the Night Warrior's rage remains fixed upon Sylvanas. I do not wish to speak out of turn, Regent Lord, but I have given counsel to the Kaldori who were raised into undeath after the battle for Darkshore. I believe I have helped them find a path forward. Perhaps if I spoke of them to the High Priestess, it might help ease her spirit, if only a little. Lillian Voss has told us of your efforts, Lady Menethil. Let us hope fate offers us a chance to see your kind offer bear fruit. So, um, lovely members of the Horde, y'all ready to embrace Kalia Menefil as your new Dark Lady? Or Light Lady? Yeah? Y'all uh, picking up on how she is pushed into the narrative? <laughs> okay, so now she has given proper counsel. Yeah, alright, cool, cool. We also had a minor discussion about this after the fact on Discord, and it's interesting to see that Kalia Menefil, someone who used the excuse of I was never trained to be a leader in Before the Storm, that excuse was used for messing up the meeting, is now profiled as somebody who gives good counsel and who is assisting others, as well as offering to help out Tyrande and seek, you know, giving counsel there as well. In the novel Shadows Rising, there was actually a meeting with Thrall and Kalia, and I believe Bane was there as well, and it basically came down to Toronto telling them like look don't talk to me unless you bring me the head of Sylvanas Windrunner so I'm not entirely sure where Kalia comes off thinking that she can give counsel to somebody like Toronto Whisperwind it's interesting like I jokingly ask if you're ready for Kalia as your new light lady at the same time they do need to do something with the Forsaken and there are simply not that many uh, candidates to be a proper leader for the Forsaken there is Lillian and I would personally, on a personal level, be down with Lillian Voss leading the Forsaken. But Kalia is definitely still a candidate in that regard. It's going to be interesting to see what Blizzard has in mind with the character of Menefil. Considering the whole, you know, Shadowlands, Wrath the Lich King, Arthas, Kalia. Should be fun to see. The Eternal Sun still guides us. Speak your mind. I mean, it's not waver. Answers will I come soon. I stand ready no. to help. My blade stays sharp. I proudly I serve am as Mabel. Regent Lord. I stand Alrighty. As high chief. And of course we are infected. So now they want us to go to Ice Crown to help out there. Now I'm going to assume that the Ice Crown questing experience is going to be very similar as it is on the Alliance side. I don't really see a reason why it should be different, but let's go have a look, see, shall we? thinking, Justica? We must act yes. now. Before it is too late. If Always we continue to delay, at your best. our opportunity may be lost. Yeah, so that's... Uh, Pretty much the same as that we did yesterday, but we'll keep we'll keep rolling. We'll see how it goes, and if there's nothing different, then uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you uh, enjoyed the little things that I missed during the first playthrough, as well as the horde side. Um, yeah, it's it's a starting event, all right. That's for sure. It's a starting event, and the uh, the plague has definitely been a ton of fun, in my opinion. It's. <laughs> It's kind of funny to just be turned into a ghoul and then spread it around to all the people. It's gonna be annoying to some to not be able to hang out in the capital for a while. But at the same time, it does give you the impression of, oh my god, there's like a proper scourge attack going on. I really liked it. And very reminiscent of the Wrath of the Lich King invasion, apparently. So yeah, I personally... When it comes to starting events, I've also said this on stream. I've seen better ones, but I've also seen a lot worse ones. So, uh, yeah. Cool, cool.